Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Jacob Fursell. I'm a tour guide here in Israel. I'd like to uh, welcome you to a series of uh, films I'm going to make uh, here in Israel. And I want to uh, begin this, first of all, with my own hometown. So here I am at home, uh, just getting ready to go outside. By the way, I'm from a small town of about 43,000 people called Afula, which is in the north of Israel. And it is about five, six miles south of Nazareth. I'm sure you've heard of that. In a beautiful valley called the Jezreel Valley. Now, believe it or not, Afula is important in history. Uh, Crusaders, the British fight at Beirut, you know, Napoleon fights here, and we're only about six miles from a place called Armageddon. So let's get started. Let's go. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Afula. My name is Jacob Purcell. It's me. Uh, we have a mask. We have to wear our masks now. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you around my hometown. Afula is a town in the north of Israel, uh, about five, six miles south of Nazareth. And it's an interesting place because actually Afula has a twin city in Israel. That city's name is Tel Aviv. Um, but Afula was important, believe it or not, in World War I because of its railroad. And where I'm walking now is called the Railroad Park. And this is actually where the railroad was. And we're going to walk to one of the first things you want to see in Afula, the railroad station. So here we are at the railroad station here in Afula. It's a uh, national landmark today. We see the one of the rails that were originally put down here in 1905. Because this was a rail system that connected the port city of Haifa. Of course, all this built under the Turks. And it went across the Jordan River and all the way to Damascus. And from Damascus, it went to Mecca. It was called the Hejaz Railway. And that, of course, is the railway that T.E. Lawrence, the famous Lawrence of Arabia, will blow up various times in World War I. So, this is the train station. And still here in Afula, water tower next on our list crusader fortress before we get there there's something i want to show you here and this is a aerial photograph taken by the royal flying corps the british in world war one blowing up the very building uh, we just saw and uh, it's kind of interesting to see that this was a really 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 important place for the british to bomb it was run by the Turks and the Germans, and a little bit of interesting history here. Well, hi, I'm back. Welcome to the citadel and gate this was a crusader construction here as the sign tells us and what we see is kind of interesting if we walk around here and we just hop up here you'll see that there's a interesting block of stones here this thing right here and that folks is a sarcophagus and the Crusaders used a lot of these sarcophaguses in secondary building. We see the same thing at Sipori, Sephoris. 
So this is the Crusader Citadel and Gate. And the reason the Crusaders built it here was because it guarded a main road. And you can see here that there is remains from the Iron Age uh, about 3,000 years ago. Now today, and here we see more of these sarcophagi here. And a little playground that was built next door. And we see all the different here is another sarcophagi, sarcophagus. So, but even though we have a railroad built by the Turks in the beginning of the 20th century, and we have this pretty neat little citadel here, and another sarcophagus. But this isn't really the reason you'd want to come to Afula because the reason you want to come here is to get something that Israel is quite famous for. Falafel. Because of the uh, COVID-19 um, threat, you can see here at uh, Falafel Golani that business ain't too good. And it's a real pity because Falafel Golani, it's a very famous place here in Afula. It's actually famous all over Israel for having the best falafel in Israel. And believe me, I've taken people here, some pretty tough customers that have said, tell you what, if this isn't the best falafel, you're paying for it. And it was the whole family. And guess what? I didn't end up paying for it. They, grudge, they grudgingly said that my falafel, I should say falafel Golani in my hometown is the best. So folks, that's what there is to see here. Let's end up with this great tasting falafel and hope that soon we'll all be able to have some. Till then, stay healthy, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.